Thank you very much. Gaming down its screen says, Hello, Forza. Since you play CS a lot lately, here's an older meme video. How Valve treats CSGO. Speaking of how companies treat their product. I don't even know what. Right. Why Valve is failing to manage CSGO. Yeah, this is why. Because the map is fucking trash. I told hey, you already yesterday, and this you map seen is any garbage. Good movies lately? Joker was boring, and the plot didn't make sense. El Camino was just fan service, the movie. But the Angry Birds 2 movie is unironically a good movie and shows the dangers of Wait, capitalism. Also, go 49 years, Kate Kona. No, you have to wait. Sit. Wave, spin. Uh, I haven't seen any good movies lately. Shake, shake. Could be. I haven't seen any good movies lately. Um, uh, no. huh? No. Oh, you want this one? Okay, you gotta sit, and you gotta high ten, and you gotta spin, and you gotta shake, and lie down. Good baby. Yes. Uh, I saw El Camino. I saw a movie yesterday called I don't know. They were at like a hospital, and uh, his his daughter broke his her arm, and I uh, yeah. You can't really explain the movie without explaining the plot twist or whatever. But it was kind of uh, fractured. Yeah, that was the name of the one. Uh, it was spin, not so good. Um, the best movies I've watched recently are the ones I rewatched, like Matrix and Catch Me If You Can. Uh, saw that one yesterday again. Um, uh, both on Netflix. Wave. Okay, now you gotta wait. Now you gotta wait. Uh, but no. Tell me if you know a good movie. Uh, I haven't seen Joker yet, but tell me if you know a good movie on Netflix. New, a new one. I'm in desperate need of uh, good shit. Yeah. I feel you on that one. Tycoon, thank you for 13 months. Yazaza. Tier 3, one year. Now that's a double fist, man. Thank you, sir. Enjoy your new badge. No message yet. What a guy. What a guy. Das EXT. Tipian Guru and Dimitri Nyanko with a gifted sub. The Calcoon Age. Uh... Okay, because you get popped up in the air. I fixed this by ending the ladder below the height of the carriage tops. I half expected players to fall straight off without grabbing on. But no. It works and has fixed the problem. Are you serious? Are no you custom serious? maps or what? There's also a risk anytime we ship new weapons that we're going to destabilize competitive play. That could potentially make our customers so unhappy that they just leave the game and never come back. And that's the worst outcome that we could think of. Okay, increase the fucking spray. You one shot somebody with a fucking pistol! Why is that allowed? You're gonna really want to focus in on fucking holding mouse one. Gay Ben, whoever made this fucking Game uh, but they still have the deal, Nova right? Strop, who loves just getting OP it's also one shot. Because he always has to eco because he's shit with rifles. But it's I not one shot in the stomach. Able to buy a gun every round that can possibly kill that guy and get all of his shit. The best feedback we get from our customers is typically the feedback. It's the things they say to each other when they think we're not there. We don't want to color their opinion of the product with our, you know, necessarily what we're trying to do or what we think is right. It's like a nightmare. This is the antithesis. The yeah, I'm still confused to why they don't have unranked 5v5. They, they still don't have unranked 5v5. They have now. They do not. They have scrimmage, which is just two maps. I told Nina, okay, I practice Dust 2 first. Learn Dust 2 and now do scrimmage. And they only have Mirage and Cash. Like, what the fuck? 
Scrimmage is... of everything that Counter Strike is supposed to be in terms of. They should have all the competitive maps like they have like for rank, don't but understand no the rank, core right? concept tenants. The concepts, the components that made CS a great game. Like what if the we fuck? We That's so basic. Weekly blog post and that we were gonna post every week. No, they shouldn't. Why shouldn't they have the maps they have in competitive, but for scrimmage, which is the non-ranked ranked? Why should they only have two maps? There is no reason for them to only have two maps. It's fucking retarded. Uh, it would be highly likely we would produce poor external communication. It is far better for us to do rarer uh, blog posts that are always 100% high value. Back in July of Small player base? They don't have a small player base. There's plenty of games the like fucking Rainbow Six or whatever that has casual with all the maps. No problem. Counter Strike has way more players. That's a bad excuse. Yeah, the first place is a trend. He's gonna hit the ground there. It's cold. Oh, oh, oh what a jumping double from cold! Really sounds like a damn paintball gun. Tell me they didn't change this, please. Why? Why do they do this? Like, I don't get it. Why? It was good. This just sounds so terrible. They all sound the same, too. No. Then. Okay. Oh, hey, Oh, God. I'm scared. I'm really scared. Velocity. They will bring this all the way back to your eyes. Fuck. Fuck this game. We probably had about 12 people on the team total. Um, that team size has increased since then, which is good because it means we can do more stuff. Do more stuff. It wasn't like we just had technical artists going, hey, let's make an economy. <laughs> Yeah, it was a whole team decision. I think it's probably tech nines. They seem to work even better when you're running. Like that sounds like a wacky cool idea at the office just before you clock off at 5 p.m. But when you put it into a game that people are playing seriously, people are playing even for fun, but wanting to show off their skill and develop their skill. And then on the pro level, you're just ruining the game. So it's naivete, but it's not, it's not excusable, that kind of ignorance. Then we should have just kept the thing inside and worked on it for five years and then unveiled it. When are you going to release Counter-Strike 2? Nah, nah, nah. Uh, no, 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 no. Counter-Strike's going back to where it was supposed to be. Oh, public quarrel. Uh, fuck! So when there's this many cheaters in three games in the top 3% <laughs> prime matchmaking, I'm sorry, but something needs to can't change. Have it all. Val cares more about goddamn money and fucking skins, gambling, and they fuck the people putting work into it. They don't reward the people with fucking good aim. Why are these look, people- Look at that, look at how he has his fucking setup. Fucking good people putting work- Is this- Is this a habit from when they started playing Counter-Strike? Or is this something that they on purpose do because it's optimized? You know what I mean? I never really understood that. Like, th when they start playing Counter-Strike, is their desk so fucking small in their tiny room at the age of fucking 11 that they have to have the mousepad behind the monitor and the keyboard tilted because there's not enough fucking length? Or is this actually something that people fucking do, you know, to, uh, to improve? They put the monitor this close and they put the mousepad behind and stuff? It, is it actually desk space? Because I feel like there is something to putting the monitor this close to your face, right? It can't be that bad. Work into it. They don't reward the people with fucking good aim. Why are these people not available for communication? Why aren't they more open? Why isn't Dude, there a channel nah, there I, where I like, communication can happen on some level to some degree at least? Why can't people even high up in the community, why can't we get simple communication from them? Put your fucking guys on the work. Put your guys on this. These guys make fucking a killing in money. Every day, man. Just pocketing it. Got the whole community <laughs> fucked up. Got everybody betting. Care more Open about the fucking money. Says. Community just being goddamn cancer instead of making the game a fucking good game. The people put 
countless hours into it. These guys give a shit about any of the people that are pro. They don't ever listen to pros. They don't listen to people that are at the top. I know cases bring in money and fixing bugs doesn't really bring that much money, but you're gonna keep your players happy. Happy players stick around. I put together this dream team list and you know what? I went out and I got almost every name on that list to agree to give me an email address, contact for Valve, all of them, I explained why, told, oh, by the way, current legendary pros at the time, the best in the world, the best in the world from five years ago, ten years ago. I got all these people to agree, like, yes, we will all... Oh, shit, Valle. That was a long-ass fucking time ago. They give us, we'll give feedback, we'll make oh, demos, boomer, contact the email, know, whatever they want. We're up, we're up for this. I came back to Torbal with it. I gave him the list. I said, there you go, take it to Valve. Because Valve had asked him for their feedback, okay? And I remember I didn't hear anything back. And so a month, maybe two months later, I contacted him. I said, so whatever happened with that list with Valve? And he says, oh, yeah, actually, uh, like, Valve doesn't need that now. Ricochet 2 coming April 12th. Was this just Gaven? Wait, was that, that wasn't actually Gaven, right? We have right? a bunch of VR systems set up what above the secret shop. Like so if you have a chance, go check it out. <laughs> The fuck? Yeah. I don't know. They just, they just, uh, they just cared so much more about. Uh, I think, I think. Their thought process was, hey, Dota is just so much more popular. Let's just uh, cater everything to Dota. I mean, if Counter Strike was their only game, they would probably cater more to Counter Strike, but they made so much more with Dota and the skins there. Because you can't really see if, like, honestly, when when people have skins in fucking Counter Strike, you can't see what your opponent has. You know, you can't see what your teammates have really you, until you pick up the fucking weapon. That's why skins are kind of lackluster in Counter-Strike compared to Dota, where you can have like a super courier or something, you know? I don't know. I just feel like uh, it's not like they don't care about Counter-Strike. It's just like they care more about Dota. But I, who cares? I don't care about skins <clears throat> either way. But they gotta make money somehow when the games are free to play, right? When the games are free to play. Uh, Asian Strider don't seem to slow force and it's a family friendly pro CSGO montage to make your Monday better. Family friendly, huh? This video is sponsored by Unwired Robots merch store. Yes, he is finally selling out. May Lord of Brides don't come cheap. If this didn't start with a fucking ad, I would probably check it. Fucking Christ. Putting ads first in your video. Motherfucker. Uh, Colonel Schlong donates and says some wise words from Scuffed Gaben. Alright, don't, don't link me any more fucking clips or anything. Last one. What is this? this ah! 2,600 views, what are you talking about? What is this? Is it safe? It's TOS. The fuck. My father told me years ago. Ah, uh, fuck it. I'm scared. I'm scared bad. Why are you saying TOS? But it is from a sub of mine. This game my father taught me years ago, it's called Switch. Uh, the premise of the game is you take one finger, put it in your mouth, the other one goes up your asshole. When he says go, you switch. <laughs> it sucks. What the fuck?